Stamina. Okay. Is it stamina or stamina? Stamina. St stamina. Stamina. Now you've got me confused. Stamina. stamina. Sounds stamina. right. Let's go with stamina. Okay, cool, cool, that cool. sounds right. Hi, Shadowhunters fans. We're here with Matthew Daddario to talk about episode 317, Heavenly Fire. And this is a huge episode for uh, Malik in particular, almost a huge episode. It is. Well, <laughs> things things don't go quite as planned. And uh, that's uh, that's sort of a theme that we have throughout the show. And obviously, I think Alec was really, you know, he was really trying to do what he thought was best. But unfortunately, he wasn't paying that much attention to what was going on with, with Magnus. Yeah, do you think he jumped the gun a little bit? I think I think he got overexcited. You know, I remember when we were filming and I was thinking to myself, this is not a this is not a bright move. This is not how you propose. You don't want to propose if something negative is going on and, and well, everybody around you, the lives of everybody around you, not just the one you, you mm -hmm. care about. <laughs> Everyone else is just a mess. I mean, think about Jonathan, what he's doing. He's coming in, we got him in a straight jacket uh -huh. and a, in it's a good seat. good look for him. Yeah, I mean, he did, he looked good in it, right? <laughs> I think it's a style choice. I don't know if that's making the runway anytime soon, but definitely that screaming and that intensity, that was very, that was very cool. I feel like Alec had reached the point where he was definitely, he seemed ready. Like he had had the realization where he couldn't live without Magnus. On his end of the stick, yeah, things were squared is, away. Is that, is that, was he ready or was he jump? I like to jump in the gun. Was he ready or was he really going into it because he thought this is gonna solve a problem. Mm -hmm. By doing this, Magnus will be happy. By, by proposing, I'm gonna cure this this issue in our relationship. That's my concern with Alec, and I think that maybe he's irreparably harmed the situation and uh, they'll never recover. Uh-oh. It's possible. <laughs> Where do they go from here? Because that I, was a pretty big breakdown for Magnus. That's a big breakdown, but now he's gotta reevaluate everything. He's gotta put that ring away for a while. Alec does. Mm -hmm. And then he's gotta figure out, okay, maybe it's time that I uh, spend a little more time thinking about how do I help Magnus which is actually sort of Alex M.O., right? Alex does a lot of helping. Yeah. Right? He's a helpful guy. I think he's the most helpful guy. If you're going to rank them in terms of helpfulness, it's Alec, then Magnus, and then everybody else is down on the bottom. I feel like just... Simon's pretty helpful. Simon tries to be helpful, but I feel like everybody is so... Uh, you know what? I guess if effort is what counts, Simon is definitely third. A for effort. He really is. It's A for effort, but things go real awry for him all the time. Well, was it at least uh, at least a little bit gratifying to see so many people in Alex's life be like very supportive of him oh, making yes, this of, proposal? Of course, but should they have been? Shouldn't somebody have said, hey, wait, listen, is something going on with Magnus right now because we know something's not right, right, mm -hmm. you know? Is this the right time? Things are kind of in a confusing state. Maybe they should have just, you know, maybe it should have been a, uh, what do you call it, a loping. A loping, Yeah, Ooh. a loping, yeah, when just they just nice run off and they just go get married at the courthouse. Run off to Italy. But where, where do Shadowhunters get married, uh, like if they're getting married randomly, if they're gonna elope, they don't go to Las Vegas. No. Where do they go? They just go anywhere and just, oh, who's in charge? Do they need a silent Paris? brother? Paris? Oh, uh, you do need a silent brother, don't you? You need a silent you? brother. So you, you hire a, a corrupt silent brother you bring him along and he'll he'll marry you guys. And then you can sort of keep it a secret. I'm sure that's what's fun about getting a loaf, is you can keep it a secret for a while from your family and then shove it in their face at a really good moment. Just like if drop one of, it in the middle yeah, of the Thanksgiving exactly, dinner. Yeah, you know, exactly. By the way, we got married and then it could be like a fight. <laughs> one person says, this is bull, bull poop. And um, see, nice I'm not her. cursing. Right, right? I got you, yeah. So is Alec gonna just keep that ring in his back pocket? At this point, no, he puts it away. Puts it away? He puts it away. Saves because it now he has day. to say, he has to say, it's not time. It's not a good time to be doing this. I got to put this away, get through this whole section of, of life because mm -hmm. uh, things are going so splendidly. And then I can review the situation again. But he better not return it because he's got to have it prepared okay. for a good time so that they can get eloped. Well, if it's a family ring, I feel like his mom would be pissed. <laughs> to return it? Yeah. Or maybe she'd be sorry. She's sorry for him. Oh. She's yeah. been actually, she's been a really great mom lately. She has been. She's been killing it mm -hmm. really Really just spreading the love around, <laughs> if you know what's been happening. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that Luke relationship. I, like I do too. I really, I'm very pro it. <laughs> However, at the same time, Alec might be questioning a little bit. It is. Well, I think now we're gonna throw to a behind the scenes video, okay, which yeah, do uh, that. has to do with Jonathan in that straight jacket and mask we Ooh, mentioned yeah. earlier, which was obviously a great look. So let's check that out. <laughs> You're hiding something. I'm not. In that episode, I am chained in a cell and it 
was not fun because um, I was in there all day. It's kind of a process to get inside a straight jacket, there's a lot of buckles to get inside chains, there's a lot of clips to get a mask on, there's things. And so it's like one of those situations where you don't know what's better to stay in it all day and just like hang there and just be like, this is what's happening or to get out of it because it's such a process. I'm sorry, Jonathan. I'm sorry. This is the way it has to be. Poor Luke, not only being in chains, but in a straight jacket. And these particular chains, because you really saw every angle of them, the shackles had to be held together with a pin. So it's not something he could get in and out of himself, and it's not something that was quick. It was great to have Kat and Dom there. Dom was holding my arms between takes, and Kat was giving me tea. Don't worry, I won't bite. And also scratching my nose, because I had an itch that was impossible to scratch. So it was great to have friends on set to do those scenes. Harry? We kind of put our shoulder under his arm to support it as much as we could, because that gets tiring. Harry! Harry! That looks like a fun scene to film. Oh, yeah. Always with straight jackets. Oh no, Always it was with... really actually it was really, really fun because Luke has this endless energy for for violently shaking and, and really, you know. And it's like, wow, that was very impressive. Because it hurts. Yeah. And I think that Luke must have at least, you know, he's shaking against those bonds and everything. He's gotta really have been been hurting there. It's dedication to the It's craft. the dedication. And we appreciate that. Luke Baines, we appreciate you. <laughs> well, Farewell to Shadowhunters is a very nostalgic kind of after show that we're doing. And so I'm asking everybody, what was the first scene you ever filmed and what was the last scene you ever filmed? First scene. I could have this wrong actually because I actually, I, I, I sort of mixed together two. There's a pandemonium uh, uh, fight scene, club mm -hmm. in season one. And then uh, also there was a scene when we're out in the, uh, we filmed it down the distillery area uh, of Toronto. And it's where we're hunting some demon and uh, it's like the opening scene of actually the show. Oh, right. And uh, I, we were just having a great time with that. And the, and what would you say, the last one? Yes, the last scene you and filmed. the last scene, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm yeah. not gonna tell you. Just skirt around the spoilers. I'll it's a really, it's a scene that you all are gonna, you're gonna love it. And it was a great ending scene to film on. And um, it, was a, it was a party atmosphere. Party atmosphere. Yes. Love it. Um, and did you steal anything from set when you left? I did not. And as I said again and again, I would never do that because that would be criminal and I don't commit criminal activities, especially against wonderful networks and studios. Uh, but I heard that other people did. In fact, I heard some people were basically breaking and entering. Huh? Yeah, some criminals. Criminals, I work with a bunch of criminals. A bunch of, a bunch of juvenile delinquents. What will we do with them? I don't, I don't know what to do with them. Go steal their stuff back. Get, collect <laughs> the things from them and uh, bring them back. Or don't, don't do that. That's, Alec Lightwood vigilante. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Very legal man. <laughs> If you would have stolen something from set. What would I have stolen? What would you have stolen? <laughs> I probably would have taken a bow. Obviously. I should have done that. I didn't. I feel like they would notice that was missing though. I don't know. I think they had like 10. Okay. There were like a lot of bows. You should be like, it just went missing. I, yeah, but I don't have that anymore. It's gone, but I, I heard that somebody got one in, a, in, a, in an auction. So there's somebody out there who has my bow and I'm, I'm, pr I'm proud of them for it. For, or taking what I couldn't steal. I'm sure it's their prized possession. It is, I hope so. It better be. And finally, what do you hope the legacy of the show is once all is said and done? I hope that people enjoyed watching it. I hope that they enjoyed uh, talking about it. And I hope that it built some friendships. I know some people from around the world became friends over the show. They bond over the show. Yeah. And I hope that uh, people have a positive memory of it. And when their kids are, are uh, 11 or older, they uh, consider showing them the show from back in the day and the kid can say, this mom, this show isn't even in a uh, multi-dimensional, like, you know, something, or maybe it's, maybe it's implanted directly in their brain and you consume it like in a second. That's an episode of Black Mirror, man. I don't know, maybe, well, I, you know, but they're, they're not, probably not watching Shadowhunters in the future, on, in, in those sort of negative futures, because the future, if it has Shadowhunters in it, is a very positive future. Okay. And Black Mirror is a very negative, negative future, future in general. They, they don't jive. Exactly. I okay. Well, I mean, you can make an argument for either side. <laughs> it's the one ray of light in this dark world. Exactly. Shadowhunters <laughs> is. That's right. Well, we've reached my favorite part of the video, which okay, is the game that? portion. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fun. So I'm going to make you play a game called Rudimentary Knowledge. Rudimentary Knowledge. And it's going to test your knowledge of runes. Oh, no. <laughs> Why would you do this? You know, they get mad at me if for I don't not know knowing. them. But okay, let's see what we got. Let's okay. see what we got.
Number one. That is the um, that is the paravertebra. Huh? It really, really looks like it, but it's not. What is it? It's the Aratsu. Oh, it's the Aratsu rune. <laughs> the only two that I interact with on a regular basis, and I got them wrong. Okay, that's okay. fine. That's okay. They're gonna get so pissed at me. I, this is the normal threats after I do something even slightly wrong. Uh, you should you should be ashamed of yourself. I hope I hope you never are, see the light of day again, and that sort of thing. So this time around, just come up with more creative insults, like really creative ones, like really high effort insults, not the low the low effort ones that I can predict. Shakespearean. Yeah, Shakespearean. get get a little clever with it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I believe in you. Uh, that is the one that uh, allows you to uh, call the uh, to make the the full moon a smaller moon, so it's darker at night. That would be an interesting rune, especially in regards to werewolves. Mm, yeah, is that not the right one? Uh, no, it's actually flexibility. Flexibility rune. Mm -hmm. Would you look at that? Well, I never used that one. <laughs> so this one, this is the uh, is this the, is this the paraphrase rune? No. no, but it also looks like the paraphrase rune. <laughs> I suck. I, I'm really mean. Yeah, you know I'm not a visual learner. Uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, I um. I learn more from uh, from words, and it's not they're they're more like it's more like calligraphy. Mm. Yeah, and it's just my my extensive knowledge of calligraphy. I just it's, I, I guess fair. it's all full. Okay, so who's this? This is stamina. Stamina. Okay, is it stamina or stamina? Stamina. Stamina. St stamina. 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 Now you've got me confused. Stamina. stamina. That sounds stamina. right. Let's go with stamina. Okay, cool, cool, that cool. Sounds right. I feel like stamina. you can get this one. That is the uh, angelic rune. There it is. Hey, you see that? <laughs> good, good, good. That is the Parabatai rune. It is the Parabatai yeah. rune. There okay. you go. And once I saw it, I knew it. It's just, I honestly. But no, those other ones, they do, they all look sort of alike, so. Yeah, that, what's with that anyway? Ah, now this one. This one's on my arm and I put it on every day, so I uh, have a 50-50 chance of knowing it. Um, we're going to go with, uh, it's the, uh, the agility rune. Oh, I, that was that was in here, and I took it out. What is it? Um, it's soundless. Soundless? Soundless. Oh, did I ever use it? Probably. I think I probably did. Yeah. Ah, yes, this is the one that makes you into a very uh, muscular velociraptor. You see, it's a, you got the face up there, and uh, it's the velociraptor rune. It's velociraptor a common rune. one. We use it in episode uh, 18. 18, gotcha. Yeah, okay, looking forward to that. That's yeah, a very good good moment. Yeah, it's a bloodbath. <laughs> uh, next, please. Next. Get me out of this game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. This is the Zorro rune. It's a uh, fancy Zorro, and uh, you get uh, you get increased sword fighting skills, and uh, it's brief, and you also get to wear a mask when you do it. I feel like that's totally right. I don't it need to accurate. check that one. It is You don't need to check. No. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Look at it. You see it? You see this one, guys? We're all on board. It's the it's the coordination rune. I, like I think it's that. actually calm anger, but it's what? Calm anger. That's what the rune is. <laughs> calm anger. Makes you, makes you calm down. Well, you're supposed to control your emotions. You're supposed to be as able to control hunter. your emotions as a shadow hunter. That's like you know rule number one. So the fact that we had to make a rune for it shows you something about people's ability to control their anger. There was no faith. There was zero. <laughs> it's like the first one they made. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna tell you what this one is. Uh, it's not appropriate. Uh, but uh, it has a, a tremendous, uh, very positive effect on, on people. Uh, no, what is it? Tell me. It's the strength rune. It's, it's That's the strength rune? Yeah. There is one that does make you strong. <laughs> I'm the last one. That is the one on my neck. I know what it is. It's the block rune. There it is. <laughs> and, uh, man, I put that on my neck every single day. Eventually, you start to have an animosity toward it. You don't Because like you know how you rip it off? We oh, they're like press-ons? No, we use tape. So they're press-ons, so when to get them off, we have to use tape. Ooh. But then they make me shave every day because Alec has to be clean shaven. Mm. And so then it's ripping it off of this every day, you know. Who's shaving every day nowadays? Alec? Oh, somebody in here is probably doing it. No, I know him. Alec is. But it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a travesty. Everyone should just have a beard. Just stubble all day, every day. Maybe, yeah. I d look, I did this though for you guys. It looks good. I like Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank it was great to talk me. to you about the proposal that never was. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have new episodes of Farewell to Shadowhunters. And when are they going to come out? Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Bye, guys.
stop it with the waving. I'll wave and it'll be fine. I got chastised for waving too much. Why? It's not a bad quality, but apparently everyone else is like, don't wave. I'm like, why not? I don't know. They just kept telling her. It's the universal symbol for goodbye. <laughs> exactly. They do it over the entire world. You're going to say, don't wave goodbye? I'm not saying it. Everyone else is. I don't have, I don't have is Twitter right? saying it? No, no, I don't know who's saying it. I think they don't care as long as Twitter's not saying it. Freeform doesn't. I'm fine with my wave. I'm no, proud of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 